Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Core Keeper. And I have been a busy little beaver in the background, working my way uh, towards uh, getting some new stuff. Now, here's the thing. I felt like a little bit of a fool <laughs> because of how many things I keep missing. Like the automation work table and the drills and the fact that I could be doing that for quite some time now. Ever since I got to the wilderness, I could have been drilling things. So what I wanted to do was make up for lost time. I wanted to boost my drilling capacity, so I worked really hard on uh, adding some more drills <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys, I think I went a little overboard. <laughs> I got really carried away, and I just kept adding more and more drills, which is not like it's bad. It's a good thing. It's just I did a lot off camera. I didn't make anything except for the pickaxe and the uh, bag there, just so that I could have extra carry capacity and a little bit more light. But if you take a look in my box here, I'm pretty well set in terms of resources. Now let me give you the grand tour of my mining enterprise. So it starts off with this rail. Oh, familiar rail. We're just gonna go this way, and you'll notice a couple extra pieces of this rail. And we're just gonna whoop, boom. And now we are here at the copper and iron deposits. Now you can see there's lots of drills on the iron, not as many on the copper because copper isn't as important but it is good for electronics. From there, we continue on this way until we get to this spot, and then we go down, and that is my tin deposit. I was very fortunate to find a lot of deposits on very, uh, very close to this line along here. It was very fortunate for me, so I'm able to uh, just go along this line and collect everything. Now, I continue into the wilderness to get the scarlet deposit. Now, this one was the most tricky. There was just no way to get to it that wasn't infested with cavelings. So what I did was I just extended my rail <laughs> into the wilderness all the way to the Scarlet Deposit just so I can fly by any enemies. I also did block off certain passages so that they could get to me. Oh my goodness, brain damage. And here we are at the Scarlet Deposit. Look at all the enemies around here. And sometimes, if they're cheeky, they can get a shot at you through the wall. And that is all for this side of the mining machine. So that's pretty much all the ores all taken care of. Except for two. We've got uh, octarine and gold that have not been taken care of. But that is on a different line that you will see in just a minute. And just like that, I am rich. Now let's just uh, finish these off. And... Uh, a little bit of scarlet. Okay, now the next rail system is a completely new one. Now I had the path that takes me to the uh, the ocean, and I didn't like walking, so I built this. And along this path, I have one jutting out point that allows me to go and collect my gold. And boom, all my gold laid out for me like that. Oh, this is so good. I am never going to need resources again, except for the fact that apparently in these tiers, you're supposed to have hundreds of ingots. And that is something that I have now. Um, so I did this because, as I said, the later tiers appear to be needing a lot more resources. So um, I needed to get ahead of the curve. And like that, I'm at my ocean base. And I will show you my octarine deposit right now. This one is the one that I'm most excited about because it is the current tier of materials. Oh my, this guy's gonna give me a bit of a problem. Hmm. <laughs> I just walked right into that one. I was trying to bait him out, but <laughs> that's not what happened there. Okay. Hiya! Oh my goodness, I am so good at this game. Let's not die. Let, let's let's try not to die here. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna do a little bit of ranged combat. Ha! Huh. Tell you that, you evil doer. Here we go. Oh boy. Every now and then they get. What was that? What was that? What are they? Oh, they're fighting each other. Interesting. Well, fire bait from. Oh my goodness. 
every time I've come here, while setting it up and collecting the resources, I've never had these stupid tentacles be so in the way. What is this? Eh, yeah, run, 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 run. Ha! Now you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, I dodged it. Whew. Okay. Well, look at all this octary. I've got a completely stacked octary deposit here. And if you will, what? if you will notice, just over this way, while over there, you can see it. There's another deposit. I'm getting attacked by this dude, so I'm just gonna run away now. Well, there we have it. All of the resources currently available to me, automated and easily accessible. So that's basically all I did, was go back and forth across these lines like a hundred times, just farming resources. Now I've got Octarine enough to build pretty much everything of this tier. And as I said, I already built the pickaxe and the bag. I need the armor and I need some weapons. And then I feel like I'm ready to explore the ocean for real this time. And also this time, I'ma build a boat so that I can sail across the seven seas in style and let me tell you something guys I'm not gonna be satisfied with any stupid little boat no 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 this man is going to have the speed boat because I have made sure I have enough octarine to supply me with the greatest of boats as you can see it takes 120 octarine bars I have that I've got that and more but first comes the armor and the weapons what else do we need? Scarlet and gold. All right. This is what I have been working towards all this time. And finally, I am going to achieve greatness. This is going to be like the best armor ever made. It's got great buffs, really cool set bonus, and uh, it looks awesome. I'm also gonna build the axe because it sounds like it could be really handy. Also, I wanna build the bow because it sounds like it's gonna be better than my musket because it sounds like it's gonna shoot faster than it and also be um, uh, uh, higher damage, I think. I don't know, we'll find out. So let's just compare the two. So we've got musket, which shoots like, like that. And then we've got bow, which shoots like, like that. So this goes up to 242 range damage. This goes up to 181, but that's unupgraded. So let's upgrade everything right now. Uh, do the ax, do the bow, and then armor, armor, armor. Now, well, that was a lot of octarine, but I feel like it is very worth it. Okay, I forgot the actual damage number doesn't go up. It just has a plus next to it. So the mis the, the misket definitely does do more damage, but this fires so much faster, so the DPS is gonna be higher. Hey, buddy, that was a lot of damage. 800 damage on a critical. I can one-shot pretty much anything. 900 damage on the critical. Okay, this is the weapon for me. And it swings pretty quickly too. It's not as fast as the club. Look at me, I look like a diver or something. Like I'm wearing a, one of those diving bells. <laughs> I guess that's fitting. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, um, uh, I need to put my armor away cause this is like backup box uh, for, you know, just in case. Uh, let's put the musket in here too. Oh my goodness, it's getting full. I can still build the boat, I hope. Because I really want to, like, absolutely fly around there. I don't want to be, I don't want to be just, you know, just puttering around in my little, little paddle boat. No, no, no. That's not for me. That is not my style. Get out of here. You can also see I expanded my farm with beautiful pupayas and, uh, 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 what, um, uh, pine grapples. I would never forget the names of the crops that I worked very hard to get. So these can cook up into food like the mushroom stew. Now, I can't be bothered to replant right now. I will do that later. <laughs> I'm just too busy. Much too busy. Let's just put these in here and those in there. Pine grapple, pupaya. Can I cook them together? What if I mix them up? I've never tried mixing the food. So I was I was cooking I was cooking these here. So this is like a, a smoothie that also gives melee damage, which is cool. 
I wonder, can I cook? <gasps> What's this gonna make? Huh? Oh, I'm so curious now. So, apparently smoothies give buffs and stuff. What's this? Melee damage and range damage for... F this is super powerful. I am making all of these. It gives both of the buffs. Oh, these these roots are so powerful. <gasps> okay, I'm going to keep farming them for like forever. And just like that, I go from having hundreds of octarine to having literally 10. Which does not feel 100% fantastic. I'll tell you what, guys. I have felt better. But I have a speedboat. Yeah, baby. Let's go. I really am really... Uh, is it time to go uh, exploring the ocean for real? I think so. I don't think I've missed anything in my setup. And before this episode becomes five hours long, I think we should go. I think I'm going to slap the boat down right next to my house. Boom. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really silly. I thought it was going to be at least four tiles. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a beautiful little dock over here. Just so that nothing comes along and, you know, gives me a hard time. Yeah, I love it. And uh, there's a little man over here who's looking for a fight. Let's see what's up. Oh my goodness, this bow is great. All I have to do is get good at aiming. Oh my goodness, this is such a good day. I feel powerful. Ooh. Get out of my way, you stupid bubble. Let me enjoy this moment. I'm just gonna... I, I know that there's nothing swimming in the... Well, I hope there's nothing swimming in the water that's gonna come along and beat up my boat. I just feel safer this way. Okay. I think we should head south. And then... Can I drive under this? Hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay, that works. Oh my, there's people everywhere. I must- What? There's so many dudes! Ah! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, help! I can't go anywhere. Ah! Whoa, what are you? Wait, that looks like something important. There's people everywhere, though. Uh, ranged combat. We're gonna win. Oh, baby! There's so many bubbles. There's a complete wall of bubbles. It's fine, I will murder you from downtown. There we go. That seems kind of important. I'm really inclined to check it out. <laughs> okay, let's take care of the tentacle. Where are you? There you are. Boom, 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 boom. With my boat, I can dodge any attack. Yeah, I'm so speedy. So speedy. Let's just kill them all. Kill them all. Uh, I wonder how much health I have. I kind of want to get hit by one of the tentacles just to see how much damage it does. Because before it did over half. Half of my health, that is. Let's get out here. That's a seashell. There's still so many guys. Oh my goodness, there's so much. And there's another thing over there. I need to figure out what this is. I can't, like, interact with it. Can I dig it? Wooden sign core. Driftwood with patterns and carvings showing the core. That's the teleporter thing. My friend. Interesting. But what's that? That one's also the core, it looks like. Huh. There's another one. There's another tentacle. This place is strange. All of a sudden, I'm getting Valheim feels. Because you remember when I got to the fire swamp? The swamp that had all of those, like, strange wood uh, stone statues. And now this place is all unique and stuff. Oh my goodness, there's so many guys. Ah, ah, please, no. No bubbles. No bubbles, no slippy bubbles. Okay, you know what? We're going melee with this man. Now you're gonna get the thunder. Three hits, and that man is done. Ha! Ah, there's another man. Huh. Let's see if he's done in three hits. Ah, the bow! Well, two lessons. One, I should have slept in the bed over there. And two, 
I am not invincible. <laughs> the bubble guys still hurt. Now, I did get absolutely dominated by like 15 different... I don't have them. I did get destroyed by about 15 bubbles. I counted them. There were definitely 15 bubbles. You know what I just realized? Oh my goodness, my boat is over there. Ugh. I need to be a lot more careful about this. Because if I die when my boat is super far away, that's really gonna stink. Luckily for me, it's not really far away, and I should just be able to pop on over and uh, get it. Whoa, I didn't realize there were two of yous. That's fine. Triple shot, and you're done. Oh, he took four. F f four, I can count. Yes, I can count. I, I was second guessing the uh, my ability to count for a second there. But we're good. I just need to speed build over, oh my goodness. Ah, why? Why is the entire world an octopus? Don't attract all the attention, please. Uh, uh, okay. I. I attracted all the attention. Luckily enough, I slept in the bed here. <laughs> okay, this armor did not make me that much stronger. <laughs> ouch. It still hurts a lot. Can I hit you? Ow, 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 ow. Stop. Just die. Just die. Is it dead? It's dead. Okay. <laughs> I just want my really expensive boat. I just want my boat back. Leave me alone. Let me get my boat, please. Where's my boat? I'm almost there. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I kind of want to just get in the boat and just motor. But I'm afraid of dying. Ah! In my boat. I'm just gonna stay on my health potions and just potion when needed. Alright, I'm going. I want to go as deep into the ocean as possible. See what's out there. All right, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, and when I move fast enough, it seems like they will not be able to hit me. Whoa, this... Ow, 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 ow. Just go, just go. Don't look back. Don't look back. I was going. Oh, there's a wall here. Ah, no, 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 no. We're going all the way to the edge. All the way to the end of the ocean. Oh, another place. Ah, another tentacle. Oh, easy does it there. Easy does it. Oh, this place is huge. Whoa, there's so much. There's so much building. Yikes. Are these, like, super important? Maybe I should explore those more. Uh, I just want to, I just want to go. I just want to, like, escape. Okay, so I'm past where I've ever been before. This is the farthest away from home I've ever been. Uh, there's blue slime. Blue slime on the ground. Another building. There's so many buildings. This seems like the smoky area from uh, Azios' Wilderness. He's shooting at me. You can't hit me, though. This ocean is so vast right now. Okay, this is spooky. This is kind of spooky. <laughs> uh, so many jellies. Seeing nothing for miles is really unnerving. And now there's lots of stuff. I must go around. I'll go around this way. wonder what kind of crazy fish I could catch out here. This is so cool. Ah, this is so va- Whoa! That- That tree distracted me! How could you? Are those new? Wait. Trees? I haven't seen trees before, have I? A kelp tree. Now ain't that novel. This biome is so huge. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's an ocean. Ah! No! No, 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 no. I'm just gonna stand right here. This is where I live now. I'm gonna make a beautiful little house. This is my new house. I'm staying here forever. This is where I live. There's some octarine ore here. There's some resources down there. This is a great place. I don't like this. 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 <laughs> But I don't want... I don't... Is he gonna still be here? Is he gonna still be here? Eh! <laughs> He's still there. Ho! Oh, do you not move? Hey, he doesn't move. Hold on a second. If you don't move, then... I'm not that scared of you. 
I killed one of them. Is this gonna summon some giant monster that I really should not be summoning? My bow is unupgraded now. I feel like this is a really, really bad idea. I don't know, something just tells me there's gonna be this giant Kraken monster coming after me after I beat up this last tentacle. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. Oh no, please. Please, 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 please. Get ready to run. Oh my goodness, what? Uh, okay. Am I good? <sighs> okay, I guess I'm okay. I was way overreacting to that. Ah! Way overreacting. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. I'm just gonna get off here and uh, see if I can find some good old shells. Any shells for me? Man, lots of good resources from these things. Uh. You know what? Maybe it's time to head back home. Is it time to- Ooh! My boat! No. That's what I should do. I can pick it up. And I can carry it with me. Okay. Um. Torches. You take the back seat. If I die on land, I'll have it with me. Aha. Big brain. I didn't actually know I could pick it up. So. That's kind of nice. Break this thing. I got that thing. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Let him shoot and then kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna clear this landmass. Boop, boop. No, run away, run away. I might want to put the shells up here. Because if I die, that is a very valuable thing to have. I really want to find that boss. Oh. Oh my goodness, am I getting closed in over here? No, we're good. We're good. I'm okay. Another thing. That's great. Kill this man. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Got him. There's bubbles everywhere. I'm surrounded by bubbles. Please no. Please no. No, 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 no. Whoa. A box. Cool. That's, that's fun. That's fun and stuff. Whoa. The edge of the ocean. I found it. It's void over here. I found the edge of the ocean. But what is that biome? Wait. The ocean continues here? Wait, what's going on here then? What is the void? Give me the shell, give me the shell. Ah, ah. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Help, what is the void then? I don't understand. Okay, you know what? I'm getting out of here. I'm going back home. I'm gonna go back home straight this way and discover this side of the ocean. Ah! Oh, easy does it there. Hey! Uh, 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 whoa, 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 there's so much ground here. Why is there so much ground here? I want to be going south. I want to go south. I want to go south, please. Ah! Uh, Please don't be just a- oh, it's a stupid little inlet. Ow, 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 oh, oh, please, let me out of here. I just want to go home. I- oh, what the- there's land everywhere. Oh, 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 dad, uh, I'm like, what just happened? How do I get- how did I- what? I need to get out of here. Oh my goodness, no, no, my boat's gone. <laughs> Why was I stuck in a stupid little... There was That was not an ocean, that was a pond. And I was stuck in it. I lost a lot of stuff. Oh, you know what? That is okay. I got the seashells. So that's a plus. I think that's enough to make the boss summoning item. Maybe. Someday, I will go back there and save that boat. And the resources that were on it. But that day is not today. Today, I'm going home and uh, planning my next move, which is finding the boss. Home sweet home.
All right, now you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how to find Amura. Mechanical part, 20 seashells. Let's see, do I have, I do indeed. Let's locate this guy. Where are you, Amaroth? Scan this world. Locate that boss. What are you doing down there? Holy moly. I didn't know the ocean went south. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day, I suppose. Alright, well, here's the plan, then. I'm gonna build a new boat. And I'm going to... Maybe take a slow boat over to here. Collect my stuff. And then... Make an outpost base near Amroth the Sea Titan. Um, I feel like I'm nowhere near beating this thing. But, here's some things that we uh, have on our side. I have a whole bunch of specific against boss buff rings. So we've got reduced damage taken from bosses. I've got uh, the other ring somewhere that did extra damage to bosses. I don't know where that is. Um, but I also can make separate loadouts, I've noticed. So here's what I'm probably going to do, is make another set or two of Octarine armor. Because it's not hard to make. And then make other loadouts. One for, like, exploring, one for boss fighting, and one for maybe mining. Like, one for speed, one for mining, and one for fighting a boss. That might be a good idea, but I have to recoup some lost resources today. So, I think that's a good place to end this episode. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens next time, because I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to go fight a boss, probably not. I'm going to probably try and set up for the boss, because I still have to make his uh, expert lure, which takes a lot of stuff. It takes a lot of stuff. But anyways... We'll find out what we're going to do next time. And until then, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Core Keeper. If you did, leave a like. And if you haven't heard anything you would like to, you can subscribe to see more Core Keeper and all the other things I post right here on this channel. And as always, guys, in case you don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.